in sharp uh, way this is how you do it uh, I have a simple project and I have a method called get content and basically this is just taking well this is first of all this is just the Windows Forms uh, program and I just have a button and a label so and I have one method that does it all so all you need to do is here um, initialize a web client object and all you need to do is pass the URL the address as you can see and this client will download that URL or whatever the HTML page on, on at this URL so all you do is download string and you return it back as you can see as a string and as you can see it will return this method will return a string which is the IP address uh, not from this page not from this uh, domain or address but from a different address as you can see here to get the IP address you need to call this a specific URL which is automation that what is my IP address dot com slash and 0923095 dot ASP uh, this is an, a specific uh, specific uh, page that what is my IP dot com has created for developers to get the IP address on either, on your code so anyways what you do is call get content which is this method and it returns the IP address very simple uh, as you can see here on this one I'm just submitting the IP address and as you can see I'm just this is you don't need to do this I'm just doing this for this demo so uh, what I'm doing here I'm splitting the IP address at each dot so one dot and so on and as you can see here I'm, I'm just overriding uh, it's a zero index so I'm overriding the first and the last and uh, this is just so no you know I'm just keeping my IP address private so we'll run it and as you can see that's the IP address obviously you can see that I have overwrite the first and the last one one and two two but if you don't you don't need to do that on your code all you do is run get content in the URL and you'll get your IP address very simple but very helpful and obviously once you get your IP address you can create your own function to e email you your the new IP address using the mail message object and the SNTP client. Very simple, uh, but very nice to have in your code if you want to keep track of uh, IP addresses.